Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price I paid for this one, 1,200 bucks. I repeat, 1,200 bucks. Now this one comes in two different colors. You got black and green. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. For the display, you got a 6.73 inch Quad HD AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1440 by 3200. Now that's 522 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and aluminium frame with the eco leather back. Now the phone is IP68 dust and water resistant. You got HDR10 plus up to 1500 nits brightness, maximum nitage, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1 with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now, you got 8 or 12 gigs of RAM, 256 or 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now, it's running Android 12 with MIUI 13 skin on top. For the battery, you got a 4,860 milliamp battery that features 67 watt fast charge. So Xiaomi claims you can charge your phone from 0 to 100% in 41 minutes. Now you also got 50 watt fast wireless charge. Now Xiaomi claims you can wirelessly charge this phone from 0 to 100% in 52 minutes. You also got 10 watt reverse wireless charge. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup with the Leica lenses. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, 48 megapixel ultra wide, and a 48 megapixel telephoto lens. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot 8K video at 24 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, you got an IR blaster, and you got second space, also known as thought protection. All right, so all that for 1200 bucks, what's missing? There's no headphone jack, that shit's whack, and no expandable memory. Other than that, this is a beast. Now on a side note, this is the Chinese version. Okay, I got it from Giztop. All of the Google apps are already pre-installed. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. Now, before we get into this heavy hitter, let's talk about phones for a minute. As of right now, let me show y'all my top five Android phones. Number one on the list, Galactus, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra 5 Gangster Alpha Omega Supreme, AKA Galactus. This is the big boy right here. Now you remember last year, the Mi 11 Ultra, when I did my phone, a phone of the year awards, Xiaomi won. Can they beat Samsung this year? We gotta see, but I don't think so. You got the S Pen, they got rid of the secondary display. That's where they have one leg up on Samsung. I don't think so. All right, this still might be number one. Number two on my list, we got the Oppo X5 Pro, all right, AKA the Stormtrooper. This is one of the most underrated phones of the year. My favorite built phone, the one piece ceramic back. This is insane. Number three on my list, the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Okay, now these are basically the same kind of phones, but this one is a little bit bigger and better cameras. So this is definitely gonna knock the Xiaomi off the list. Number four on my list, I'm going with the Vivo IQ9 Pro. Okay, this is one of the most slept on phones. I love it. One of the most customizable Android phones. And of course, y'all know I'm a BMW M fanboy. So the carbon fiber back, this is a win. And of course, before we get into number five, ladies and gentlemen, late but still great, White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. Calm down. Now here's the thing. For number five on the list, I know everybody's expecting me to say the OnePlus 10 Pro, but I can't do it. Number five on my list, after all of the updates, ladies and gentlemen, the Pixel 6 Pro is now back in my top five. The fingerprint sensor actually works. The camera is way superior than OnePlus. The software, smoothest Android on the market. This is now my work phone and in my top five. And of course, rounding it off, number six, we're going OnePlus 10 Pro. Now, one more side note, best gaming phone as of right now, the Xiaomi Black Shark 5 Pro. 
Now, I do like the red magic right, with the RGB fan on the back, but the Black Shark 5 Pro has the best speakers on the market, period. Now, next week, we're going to do the Asus ROG 6 Pro, so we'll see how that one falls in with the gaming phones. But as of right now, this is my favorite gaming phone. All right, with that being said, let's get into this. Xiaomi 12S Ultra, the big boy. Okay, now judging by the box, you already know it's inside. Nice black box, y'all know I like that. Giggity. Okay, here we go. Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Now, low key, I've been waiting for this phone all year. Okay, this is the, the big boy. This is the one I've been waiting for. All right, so you got your SIM ejection tool. Okay, you got your usual books and shit. Pluck them and file them. Shout out to Xiaomi for throwing a case in here. Okay. Samsung, pay attention. Case. Nothing fancy, just a gel skin, but it's still a case. Okay, so you got your device. <laughs> let me calm down. Let me try to calm down. And of course, now let me clear my throat. <clears> 67-watt <throat> fast charging brick in the box. Okay? 67-watt fast charging brick in the box. Samsung. Google, Apple, pay attention. This is how you do it. Don't just advertise fast charge and make me have to go out and prove it myself. You want to advertise fast charging? Prove it by putting the charger in the box. This is where it belongs, okay? And of course, you got your USB Type-C. Let's see, is it A to, a to C or USB A to USB Type-C charging cable? I shoes inspect that for quality. Okay, here we go. Now, this is my first time seeing this phone in real life. Let me peel this off the back. Okay, a little sticker struggles. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, bang, here it is. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Now, this is the green version. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mmm, mmm. This one smells like trouble. All right, this one smells like trouble for Samsung, even though, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. The S Pen is what made Samsung win this year. Without the S Pen, we could have had a straight up debate. You know, IR Blaster, Thought Protection versus Samsung DeX and the S Pen, Bluetooth S Pen. I think Samsung is still gonna win, but we're going into this with an open mind. Okay, so this is the green version. This is the Eco Leather Back. Okay, now I actually love this. If y'all remember when I did the uh, Vivo X Fold, I'm in love with these leather backs. Now, eco leather is not real leather, but you don't want real leather. Real leather would not be water resistant. So eco leather means you can get this wet and it's not gonna get all frayed up like real leather would look. There's your cameras in the back. Now, this is such a missed opportunity. Y'all know my motto, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't know why they got rid of the secondary display on the back from the Mi 11 Ultra. I love that phone so much. And a lot of y'all thought the secondary display was gimmicky, but ask anybody who actually owned that phone, when you got the phone in scumbag mode, right, when you got it like this on the table, being able to check your messages, answer phone calls, control your music from the secondary display, and just having that for when you get into your phone wars with your friends, being able to say you got a secondary display that's actually functional, they should have left that. All right, they should have left that. They opted with the big giant camera on the back. Instead, hey, we're going to see how it looks. Now, this is the Leica lenses. Okay, see the little Leica branding? So these cameras should be insane. Got some Xiaomi branding. Now, I love how the green has a rose gold trim on the aluminum frame. <laughs> so this is sick. This is sick. All right, let's power this up real quick. Now, the phone is not as heavy as I thought it would be. Okay, y'all remember the Mi 11 Ultra? That was a heavy phone. This one actually feels a little bit lighter. Okay, let's get a little wiped down. Now, one more side note. Like I said, if you buy this from GizTop, this is the Chinese version. The global version isn't out yet. But if you buy it from GizTop, they will throw the Google apps on it for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. And if you see, let's see, Play Store already installed. There it is. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video, I'll set everything up, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, been playing around with it for a few minutes, and I gotta be honest with y'all, this phone is a beast. But let me say this. It's pretty much exactly the same as using the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Now, for size comparison, they're exactly the same size. The only difference is I do like the build quality a little bit better on the 12S Ultra. I like the Eco Leather back. 
It has a better camera on the back and a bigger battery. Other than that, basically identical. All right, first things first, let's talk about the build quality. A1, y'all know I gotta say it, feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. I love it. I'm a big fan of this eco leather back, no fingerprints. Okay, so it's always gonna look nice and clean. And if you go with the green, you get this gold aluminum frame. That color combo is badass. Now on one side, you got your power button, you got volume up and down. On the top, IR Blaster, Samsung. All right, the ball is in your court. IR Blaster on deck. Okay, on this side, nice and clean. On the bottom, you got your SIM tray, USB Type-C charging slot, and one of your speaker grills. Now all the speakers on the top, bong right there. Now a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pattern or your pin. Next, you got face unlock. Bang, look how fast that is. All right, Google. Okay, now look. <laughs> that is the one thing missing from the Pixel. If this phone had face unlock, I think this would rank even higher on my list. This phone is a workhorse, it's a beast, and like I said earlier, the smoothest version of Android on the market. Okay, so if you got a friend that only uses iPhones and they always say, oh, Android phones be lagging, or I can never use an Android phone, tell them to play with a Pixel. This is the most iPhone Android experience that you're gonna get. The camera's amazing, software's amazing. It's just the fingerprint sensor is not the best and no face unlock. Nevertheless, I digress. Back to the face unlock on this one. Bang, look how fast that is. And of course, you got fingerprint sensor. All right, Google, this is how your fingerprint sensor is supposed to work. Just like that. Bang. Now, let me show you something since we're here talking. Here's the fingerprint sensor on the Pixel. You see it's actually working now. Oh, this high-ass power button. I hate that, too. Watch the fingerprint sensor. There it is. All right, so shout out to Google. They did push the updates out, so this is a viable phone again. But fresh out of the box, the fingerprint sensor is supposed to be like this. Just like that. Now, look how fast I could do this. This is how a fingerprint sensor is supposed to work. You're not supposed to think about it. You don't gotta look at it. All you gotta do is press it, pops open just like that. Same thing with face unlock. You shouldn't have to be focusing and staring at the camera. Just look at it, it pops right open, okay? Now, this is the Chinese version, so if you swipe over, you don't have to Google uh, homepage, but you can just hit Google right here and get your homepage like that. Okay, let's let this load up, there it is. Now, this is running Android 12, so you see I got all my Android 12 widgets. Okay, my YouTube turntable. Okay, this phone does support Netflix. Okay, on deck. Okay, calendars. All my apps, everything on deck. And of course, since you got the IR Blaster, you got me remote. Now, we'll play with that when I do the full review. All right, so let's go through some of the settings real quick. Now, you got all your basic toggles. Okay, nothing to really see there. You got screenshot, screen record. Okay, you got your scanner, ultra battle, battery saver. This does have reverse wireless charging. Okay, you got screencast. Do not disturb Dolby Atmos. Okay, now if you swipe over again, here's be all your notifications. Just like that. Let's take it to settings. Okay, now let's try to make this quick. Connections and sharing. You got screencast. You got printing. Pre, uh, private DNS, VPNs. Okay, all your scumbag services. And you got NFC. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> you ever had to clear your throat, but you try to force it through, like, you just try to keep talking? I had to clear my throat for the last 20 minutes. All right, my bad, y'all. <laughs> okay, so you do have NFC, everything available. Now, wallpapers and personalization, a bunch of different wallpapers to choose from, and y'all know one thing that I love about Xiaomi phones, the super wallpapers. So you got, of course, you got your snowy peaks. Okay, that's how it looks, and then bang. So this is how it's going to look. This is going to be always on display. Okay, the snowy peaks. Once you pick up the phone, you get to this menu. Once you unlock it, it'll look like that. Okay, so you got geometry. Y'all seen this one before. Bang. You got the far away rings. Okay, now this is one of my favorite ones. Once you unlock it, all right, you get to see the rocks. That one is dope. This is the one I'm using right now. So if you notice... You see, here's my always on display. Then once I tap the phone, brings it to the earth. And once I look at it, all right, let me do that again with, with the, um, give you the full experience. Now, before I go any further, it does have always on display. 
okay? One of the best always on displays in the game. If I tap it, let's do that again. You see, there's the earth. And when I look at it, it brings me to the surface of the earth. Now, one thing about that, that's pretty epic. You can actually change the landing point. Okay, so when you get to the home screen, you got different areas of the earth. I was going to say earth, earth. <laughs> okay, and of course, you got the red planet. This one is sick too. Bon, just like that. Now, I'm going to keep it real also. If y'all see me shaking a little bit, I'm back in the gym again. I just did arms. Yo, my arms feel like jelly right now. So if you see me shaking, don't worry. I, <laughs> I ain't got the Parkinson's. I'm good, yo. All right? I just got the shakes. I got the post-workout shakes. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so that's it for the uh, Super Wallpapers. Let's see anything else we need to see there. Oh, now they got some other dope ones too. Check these out. Now, these are the new ones that I've been playing with. Crystallization. Okay, so when you unlock your phone, you're going to get that crystal effect. That one is pretty nice. I'm using this one actually on my 12 Pro. Okay, this one looks sick too. And these are just nice wallpapers that come uh, on the phone, but you got to download them, which is good because they don't take up actually any extra space. But any one that you like, you can just download it just like that. And there's a thousand of them to choose from. So a whole bunch of different wallpapers and themes. Okay, let's exit out of that. Now, of course, you can change your fingerprint animation. We got Starlight, Aura, Pulse. Uh, now, Pulse is dope. I'm going to leave it on that one. Okay, now you can change your effects. Of course, y'all know I got to go to Starlight. But we got Light Up Screen, Red, Blue, and, of course, Starlight. This is my favorite one. Okay, let's see. You got your different fonts, ringtones, notifications, and alarms, and themes. Okay, now for Always on Display... You got a bunch of different ones to choose from. Now I'm using the super wallpaper one, but if you want, you got you get a custom image, okay? You got signatures, got a bunch of different analog clocks, you got kaleidoscopes, digital, okay? Got these, uh, select, uh, neon backgrounds, a bunch of different Chinese ones, a lot to choose from, okay? A lot of different always on displays, themes, animals, you name it, okay? Let's exit out of that. Let's go to um, display. Okay, so of course now we got it on dark mode. Max brightness, 1500 nits, all right? Maximum nittage. Okay, you got sunlight mode. If you wanna make it a little bit brighter when you're outside. Color scheme, y'all know I like it nice and moist. All right, keep it nice and saturated. Let's go to um, display. Now, of course, it's gonna be stock, uh, stock setting. It's full HD, but you just spent 1200 bucks. You might as well put it on quad HD. Same thing with the refresh rate. Take it over to custom and put it on 120. Now, if you want to, you can drop it all the way down to 60 if you want to save some battery. Okay, you got your AI image. Now, we're going to turn all of this stuff on. Image enhancements. Okay, HDR enhancement. Okay, MEMC. Turn all that stuff on. Super resolution. Everything. Okay, now it's going to eat a little bit of battery, but you're going to take full advantage of this uh, beastly phone. Okay, anything else we need to see there? Nope, that's pretty much it. Let's go to sound and touch. Now, I'll do a little sound test in a minute. Dual stereo speakers, they actually sound pretty good, but I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I did a side-by-side -side comparison with the Black Shark, and right now, nothing is touching the Black Shark. It's unbelievable. I'll let y'all hear a little bit of taste for yourself, but the Black Shark speakers, I don't know what Xiaomi did with this phone, but they need to put these speakers on every phone. Okay, the Black Shark speakers blew my mind. Now, you got your sound enhancements. Let's go to um, sound effects. Okay, so you got Dolby Atmos. You got different presets. So you got dynamic video, music, and voice. And you got graphic equalizer. Now, I got the custom. Got it on everything max like a douche. But you got uh, rock, jazz, pop, classical. Whole bunch of different EQ settings. All right, so play with the one that sounds best for you. Personally, I like the put everything up to the max. That's how it sounds the best, in my opinion. My humble opinion. All right, anything else? Let's see. Um, let's keep it moving. Oh, matter of fact, let's go back. One more thing I wanted to show you. I sound in touch. Now, if you go over to touch, you got different haptic feedback patterns. Okay, natural touch. Now, y'all can't y'all can't feel it, but the phone is vibrating like crazy. I got maximum haptic feedback on. Okay, you got realistic touch. And you got critical feedback. Okay, now this is stuff I'll play with, and I'll let y'all know when I do the full review. All right, anything else? Let's go to our home screen. 
Okay, navigation, you get to have your three bars if you want. The three buttons on the bottom. Nothing to really see there. Let's go to fingerprints. Okay, so you got face unlock, fingerprint sensor. You got our uh, Bluetooth devices if you want. Okay, and of course you got second space. I'll cover that when I do the full review. Let's see uh, security. Okay, now you got your little security suite right here. This is pretty dope. You got your SOS, your earthquake warnings. Uh, you got your family guard. You can scan your phone for viruses, payments. You got a block list. Okay, full security suite. Okay, let's go to battery. Now, 67 watt fast charging uh, on this. So it's gonna take you for about 40 minutes to fully charge. You can put an ultra battery saver if you want. Okay, shows you the apps that's eating up all your battery. Exit out of that, there's your battery saver. You got reverse wireless charging, okay? That's really not a gimmick, and at 10 watts, that's perfect for charging wireless earbuds or charging up a watch. Okay, exit out of that. Let's see anything else. Let's go to additional settings. Okay, so you got your quick ball. This phone is pretty big, so you can use that if you want. You got screen record, you got accessibility. Okay, so if you're hearing or visually impaired or physically impaired, all of the settings on deck. Okay, anything else? Let's see. Special features. Okay, front camera assistant. You got tap plus, floating windows, second space, thought protection. You got kid space. Okay, monitor your scumbag activities. Got your MIUI lab. Let's see anything on the lab. Uh, okay, nothing really new there. And you got light mode, privacy protection lab. And that's pretty much it. Okay, this phone, like I said, is a certified beast, but it's just kind of weird because it feels exactly like the 12 Pro. Now the 12 Pro, it's on sale right now for around 800 bucks, which is one of the best deals of the year. If you grab this phone for 800 bucks or 700 bucks, you are a complete winner. All right, this is basically the same phone, but I would say the build quality is a little bit better and the camera, the camera is definitely a little bit better. Now I'm gonna show you how the camera in a minute. I took some shots of white shoes. It looks unbelievable. All right, let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay, Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1. Now I can add Google Chrome if I want, but I'm using the uh, stock browser right now. Okay, 120 hertz refresh rate, so the scrolling speed is going to be immaculate. Of course, you got split screen multitasking. Okay, let's do uh, Google on the bottom. Go to Samsung.com. Okay, so we got Apple on the top. We we'll take it to Samsung on the bottom. Okay, once it switched, it put Samsung on the top, put Google back on the bottom, exit out of that. But this is the full website. All right, so let's try something else. Let's do um, let's open up YouTube. Okay, let's make sure we got picture in picture. Okay, let's go to my videos real quick. Now, shout out to everybody that was watching my stream last night. I was definitely wilding out. Let me turn this off. Okay. Exit out of that. Okay, you do have picture and picture. Okay, so we'll close that out. Now, let's go back to, let's go to Chrome. Okay, we'll set that as a default. Let's do a little split screen multitasking. So now we do YouTube. Okay, so we got YouTube on the bottom. Apple on the top. Okay, so this is how your multitasking is going to look. Let's pull up some video, and there it is. Okay, super smooth, nice and silky. Now, speaking of YouTube, let's test out the uh, display and the speakers. All right, now, the speakers on this phone do sound great, but just for comparison, I'm going to put them up against the Black Shark 5 Pro. Now, watch this. This is the 12 Ultra. Yeah, I got a question for you. Yeah, how many times you knew I was checking for you? I mean, put it on the line, grab the weapon for you. Now here's the black shark. Yeah, I got a question for you. Yeah, how many times you knew I was checking for you? I mean, put it on the line, grab the weapon. Here's the 12 Ultra. I was front line, I was repping for you. Trap came by myself, I was stepping for you. Trap Here's the black shark. For you. I was front line, I was repping for you. Trap came by myself. 
I'm so spoiled. After using this phone, every set of phone speakers that I hear now, I'm always like, is it just me or these speakers sound low? Do they sound kind of trash? It says that these sound that good. But after playing with all my other phones, these speakers do sound great. Now, as far as display, we'll, we'll get into all that stuff when I do the full review. I don't want to make this video take too long. Let's take it over to the camera real quick. Now, watch this. I'm going to get a quick picture of shoes. Okay, look at this. Look at that detail. This is crazy. Now, I took some other pictures just now. Look how beautiful this is. Now, of course, I got to take it outside and really play with it. But let's go through some of the different shooting modes. Let's see, you got documents. You got pro mode. Okay, so you can change your white balance, your shutter speed, your ISO. You got video. So you got wide angle all the way up to, okay, let's see. You got 15 times zoom on your video. Okay, let's see. Now you got 8K at 24 frames per second and 4K 60 frames per second. Okay, for photos, you got wide angle. Now let's check the zoom on this. All the way up to 120 times scumbag zoom. This is what I'm talking about. All right, this is one thing that I love about these phones, scumbag zoom. Let's go to portrait mode. Now you can change your bokeh effects. Okay, you got different pro lenses. You got black and white. Okay, you got the swirly bokeh. Okay, look at shoes right there. Let's see, you got soft focused. Okay, that's on the pro lenses. Let's see. Um, anything else? Exit out of those. You got night mode. Okay, you can shoot wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom in night mode. And of course, you got more. So you got 50 megapixels, short videos, panorama, vlog, slow motion, time lapse. You got avatars, avatar stickers, movie effects, AI watermark. Okay, you got long exposure, super moon, multicam. So that means you can use both cameras front and back at the same time. You got clone, and you can rearrange these. Okay. Now, in portrait mode, you can change your level of bokeh. Let's see. And you got different filters, different blur effects. Real dope. All right, now, like I said, um, this is just going to be my quick first impressions. I love it. I, I, just, I, I literally love it. I just hate that. They got rid of the secondary display. That was the thing that when I got rid of my Mi 11 Ultra, that's what hurt me the most. But this phone right now, so far, I love it. All right, so far, I love it. I will say this. The leather back definitely makes the phone a lot lighter than having the glass back. Okay, this phone feels feels basically about the same weight as the 12 Pro. All right, let's do a quick photo real quick because we got, we got shoes looking too cute. Okay, now look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's let's zoom in on the nose. Look at the nose. This is one of them camera cameras. Okay. So anyway, fresh out of the box, on a scale of one to ten, I'm giving the Xiaomi 12s Ultra so far a major, major, major go. It checks all of the boxes of things that I want in my flagship device. Now, of course, I could be petty. Y'all know they call me Petty Roosevelt. So there's some things that I don't like, and I'll talk about those when I do the full review. But IR Blaster, Thought Protection, Top of the Line Camera, Quad HD Display, 67 Watt Fast Charge, all right, almost a 5,000 milliamp battery, dual stereo speakers. I mean, this is a beast. This is a beast. Anyway, Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me.
All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss and Mac. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossie Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck the Beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know I'm an animal lover so I like that shit so make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossie Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.